Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, October 14, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to support our channel over at Patreon. The link is down below. So we're starting to look at, we'll start by looking at the WTI and then we'll look at natural gas, which had a really interesting move. Um, at the end of US session. So oil at the moment is struggling and uh, it's kind of about time. And it's also expected for this to pull back towards uh, give or take uh, 77.50 or down to 75. If you look at the stochastic, it has crossed the signal line even though we're in bullish territory, but this could be a sign that we are about to pull back. That means that we'll pull back roughly to the middle of the bullish band or at the 20 exponential moving average around this area here. As you can see, it has been bouncing off uh, this moving average uh, for quite some time now. MACD is still bullish, and uh, the RSI is also bullish at this current stage. If you look at the 4-hour chart, you can see that we are just going sideways. We did pull back towards uh, uh, 78.8, uh, and then we rallied. And the 50 moving average in the 4-hour chart has also been very supportive you can see it bounces off here it bounces off here and yet again we didn't really get to the 50 but it kind of uh, bounced off there as well so we basically need to break the 50 in order to go towards the uh, uh, 75 level and um, yes it is it's at this current stage not there yet but uh, it's more likely that will drop than continuing higher as this is getting fairly overbought here in the RSI. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas found major support here at the bottom of middle of the bullish band, I was supposed to say. And if you look at what basically happened last time, we found major support there. This happened. So a massive move from 4.7 uh, uh, all the way up towards 6.5. And at this current stage, it more looks like if we manage to take out these candlesticks here of 5.8, then we are most likely going back towards the previous high. So we're bouncing off the 20 here, also here, and yet again here. If we break below the middle of the bullish band, then we could drop towards the 50 moving average down here at around 5 and or 4.8. If you look at technical indicators, MACD is still bearish, stochastic is still bearish, but they are turning around. So it could well be that we'll just turn around here, cross the signal line, and then go higher. If we look at the long-term perspective for, for this market, it is still significantly overbought. So there is a shortage of um, basically every week at the moment, and that is what is causing this massive move to the upside. Usually uh, at this period uh, of the year, should be trading down here, but shortages, especially in Europe and Asia, both in uh, in oil and also in coal and also in natural gas, have basically pushed the markets to um, to um, high levels that we haven't seen for a very very long time. So we had a massive uh, shooting star yes uh, last week. This did fall down to uh, 5.2, but then it recovered. So it may continue, but getting towards the 90 94 that usually means that this is going to have a massive uh, pullback as most instruments do. So, hope you found this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck and thank you very much.